Alright guys, today I'm going to be doing a quick re-upload of an older video I posted. Um, it happened to be my most viewed video. It was actually the worst thing I think I ever did. So, um, for any of you who saw it before, I'm sorry, but this is going to be the quick re-upload. I'm doing it a little bit differently, and it's going to be a lot better. So anyways, uh, let's say we start off the trick. We put the two jacks off to the side. Let's go ahead and we shuffle up the deck a little bit. And the spectator can pick any card that they want. And Let's say this is going to be your guys' card. Now, I don't want to look at it. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys the card now. This is going to be your card for the trick. Let's go ahead. Let's say we put this in the middle of the deck somewhere and we get it mixed up just like that. Go ahead and shuffle the deck a few different ways. And then from here, what I should be able to do is let's say if I take one jack, put this on top, and then the other jack, put this on the bottom. And now from here, I should be able to in one, two, three, be able to take your card out from the middle. So this is a trick guys, and if you want to do it, don't forget to stick around for the tutorial. Alright, so hopefully you guys liked that version a lot better, and for those of you who haven't seen it, this is going to be, this is going to work out better for you guys. But anyways, um, the whole thing with this trick, all you have to do, um, is the reason I say this is a beginner card trick is because there really isn't too much to it, and the moves aren't too hard, but the effect in the end is really good. So anyways, what you want to do is take out two cards, let's say the blackjacks, the aces, the kings, whatever you want, just any like two of a kind, and you can show this to the spectator, leave this off to the side, and then you are ready to go from there. So this is completely impromptu, you can have the spectator go ahead and shuffle up the cards, and then they could pick any card they want, it is an absolute free choice, and let's say they were to pick this card from the middle. Now for the tutorial, I'll be showing you guys what it looks like we have the king of diamonds. So what you want to do is, um, I'm assuming a lot of you guys watching this are going to be beginners watching this video. So what you want to do is stick the king. You're going to put this into, you're just going to plop open the middle of the deck. And the card is going to be out jogged just like this. And all you want to do is as you're holding the deck, you're pushing the card in. You are pushing down on the card as well and pushing in. So this way, you get a break within the deck just above their card. So from the thumb break, what you're going to do is is a double undercut, or actually I'm going to show you guys a little bit in, in a, an easier version of the double undercut. So basically, let's say you have this thumb break, you push the card in, you're going to transfer this to a pinky break by putting your pinky in that little crevice there, and from the top you can't really see it, so you guys should be fine. And all you want to do is say, okay, I'm going to go ahead and cut the card so it mixes up the deck. So basically all you're doing is cut, you're going to grab about half the cards above the break, put that to the table, and then grab the cards from the break, put that to the table. And now what you've done is controlled their card to the top. And then from here, let's say uh, if you know how to riffle shuffle, you can go ahead, riffle shuffle the cards, leaving the right hand on top. You want to make sure you actually leave that card on top. So you go ahead, riffle shuffle, you leave a pack of the cards making sure their card stays on top, and then what you want to do is do an overhand shuffle, controlling, and all you're going to do is take one card, that's going to be their card, you move that to the bottom, and then complete the overhand shuffle. Now, if you're, uh, if you're already, you know, familiar with the overhand shuffle, you can do something else where you're going to be controlling this card. So let's say you have the card on the bottom of the deck now. All you're going to be doing is holding the bottom card with your three fingers here, and as you pull off the top packet with your thumb, you're going to be holding on to that bottom card, just like that. And that's going to retain the bottom card. You can continue shuffling, and now it is still on the bottom. So from here, you want to make sure you do not flash the bottom card. You take one jack, you put this on top, you take the other one, you're going to put this on the bottom, and you're going to leave it out jogged. And you say, you know what, I'm going to leave uh, the jack on the bottom out here so you guys can see it. And all you want to do is, since that, since their card's on the bottom, you're going to be holding the deck like this, with your fingertips holding on to half of this card and half of that card. So you guys can see my fingertips are touching both of these bottom cards. And all you have to do is practice shaking the deck or just swinging it over and catching it, and you're going to retain this card. So just do a little bit of practicing. You're going to be holding on to the top card and the bottom two cards like this, and all you're going to be doing is throwing the deck while catching that bottom card as well. So this is a trick, guys. I hope this video made a lot more sense to you than my last one. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, thank you.
Let's go give it to you. 